Important notice. Do not engrave any metallic surfaces with this machine. This machine is only for non-metallic engraving. Don't tell me what to do. So the folks over at, um, over at, uh, G320. Man, this has got to have a brand name somewhere because it's definitely not made by the FDA. What do you think, Luna? This is brought by Monport Laser. Okay. This is actually kind of like one of those things where they like import a mass quantity. They do their own little quality check and they, they resend it back out or resell it or whatever. Seriously, like five minutes, guys. Five minutes. So Monport Laser sent this over to me. They said, <sighs> so Monport Laser sent this over today. They sponsored, they're like, hey, do you want to check out a CO2 laser? I'm like, bro, you had me at laser. Sure. See, the only experience I have with lasers is this. It's like a diode laser. It's like seven watts, right? I mean, super low power, like just can barely do anything. And I got that laser because I was interested in laser cutting. I didn't know anything about it though, but I quickly came to realize that seven watts of power doesn't get you very far depth wise. Like you just don't have the length, you know? To go the distance. But this is 40 watts. Now, I watched a lot of videos because they're like, hey, do you want to check this out? I'm like, heck yes, maybe. But, you know, let's watch some videos and figure out what exactly it can do and whether or not it will be exciting. Because you are watching this video not because this is a channel about lasers, but this is a channel about my ADHD and how I squirrel all the time. So call this a review, call this a learning experience, whatever you want to call it. Basically, I'm going to take this and try to make it do stuff. Like magic. So to get everything going, believe it or not, I'm actually going to refer to the user manual because I have no idea how to not burn my retinas with this thing. And upon watching videos, I realized that obviously it needs to be exhausted, right? Air, because you're like burning things. And especially if you're gonna be cutting things like acrylic, you're gonna be creating toxic fumes. And that's really bad if you wanna live past 37. So I'm going to take this one step at a time. I'm going to get this set up and then probably move it over there where I could stick the exhaust thing out the window. <sighs> this thing is so serial, it has an emergency stop button. That like, holy crap. I should note that one of the things that this company does is like pre-test and align, like part of the quality control, they pre-test and align. And they're like, don't touch this unless you know what you're doing, right? And they glue it. So they, they already fine tuned it to work out of the box. I mean, with a little bit of setup, of course. Really starting to feel like I don't have enough distilled water for this. I've only got this one gallon. One gallon. That does not go very far in terms of water cooling. Okay, obviously I need to get some more water, but for the purposes of testing this tonight, before I go to bed, it'll work. Try as I might, I cannot find the lid for this. So instead I have saran wrap just to keep stuff from going in and you know, messing it up. While I was taking these nuts off and installing the software on the laptop, these LEDs fall, <laughs> fell off. I, I don't, I mean, I guess I'm gonna get some like double-sided tape or something? Or just kinda hope it stays up there. I don't know, that was weird. After a little bit of uh, dancing with the stock software that comes with the USB, because they sent you USB, I realized that it's out of date and it doesn't work with the latest version of Inkscape. So, note to self, always go to the website and download the latest version. Either way, I have the screen off. I have the blue stuff mostly taken off, except for back there. I don't want to take it apart. And I think, I think I'm ready to test out the laser. I got a little test file thing loaded there and I cut a piece of cardboard. I am sure there's more that I have to do, but let's lower this down to like, yeah, 1%. It was at 10%, so it's at 1%. See, so I'm gonna drop it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. So far, so good. Not even moving or lighting up. It's doing nothing. Okay, so it's <laughs> not working. I mean, it's got water. It's got power. There we go. Four test runs in. I immediately notice this thing has three speeds, right? It has black, gray, and white. Let's see what happens. A little bit more. 63%. Oh yeah. 
73%. Oh, got a fire. Okay, back it down, 63%. Oh, it's actually burning. Okay, go figure. So this is like very quick tuning to the cardboard. It's at eight and a half percent. And it seems like the water cooling's working. I think it's supposed to be in that 21, 22 range. According to the user manual, at 24C, I should start replacing the water. Hmm. Well, like I said, anyway, this is just like a test. I wanted to get it running and burning and doing things before I went to bed. That way I didn't lose sleep over not getting it going because I wanted to play with the laser. All right, so before I go to bed, I had black, I had gray, I had white. I have black and I have white. It's the next day. I've been burning things and making things and I figured out that anodized aluminum, whatever, easily, easily etched with this laser. So I wanna make a card with my logo just for the lols. And I figured out the colors, by the way, there's black, gray, and white. So this is just a spare piece of, I don't know what kind of wood it is, but it is beveled. So, you know, if I burn like, let's say a test logo here, right? And it gets burnt onto there, depending on how it does it for the rest of it, I can see if whether or not I need to do a spacer, if I'm going to burn something like, you know, a keychain, for example. If you look real close, you can see that smoke coming out. This is why you need proper ventilation, people. Okay, it is definitely smoky in here. I don't want to end this because it's doing pretty good, but I opened up the window and the cat tried to go through. And then because uh, with the fire detectors or smoke detectors, uh, usually when you wave them they kind of go off so i figured i put a fan on there to blow fresh air so hopefully i can make it through this cut before setting those off all right i made it through the cut and honestly i think it's cleaner on the on the higher side there but i definitely have to figure out something with ventilation <laughs> time to get creative look at that that is at 80 percent on an anodized card it's just a black card uh aluminum of course so just a little design I put in there and that's 80%. Now the stuff in the middle is basically gray. The stuff like the actual Bite My Bits logo is white or full power. And then the rest obviously is just turned off. So uh, here's where I can kind of see where some of the modifications are needed. Cause if you see all this, like you can see it's pointing towards the ventilation, but there's something called air assist where they wire up a tube like goes right on the head right there and it basically blows whatever it's burning out of the way which allows you you to get a cleaner more consistent cut or etch um so let's wash this off and let's see how it comes out okay that came out pretty good honestly like wipe it down got it wet uh i definitely think that i need to shrink the bite my bits part of it just so it has a bigger border i mean as you can see like it should line up i just got the lining off so the bottom is really close and the top is far away so uh i can either resize it or align it better but overall i mean that's pretty good the little half thing right there it's a definite difference in, in contrast and you can tell where it is you even got a little border around it where it's half contrast i like it it came out pretty nice i got this moved over i don't know all right I have serious doubts, although unproven, so I'm gonna test them right now. I have serious doubts about the exhaust fan. Um, part, part of that is probably gonna come from the videos that I've watched that says that a lot of people upgrade the, the venting solution. So I think that's like a biased opinion based off of what I've seen. Yeesh, I almost fired this thing up without hooking up the water cooling system. That would've sucked. But now we're gonna do a test burn, now that I actually have cooling. Boom. There it is. Is it sucking out the back? Do we have any? Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 there it is. It's actually working. I mean, I could smell it, but it's not all up in here. Not bad, not bad at all. Also, I hooked up a watt in the thing and it's only using 240 watts. 
to burn 80% of a 40 watt laser. Oh shit, I walked away for two seconds. Oh man, uh oh. God damn it, that's gonna burn. Literally like 30 seconds, tops. Can't really see if it did any damage. I don't think so though. Okay, so I wanna take this opportunity and talk about safety training for the laser. As you can see, I am burning another card side or whatever, just testing it. But if you are looking at getting into this and you see a giant red stop button, that would probably be a lot better than going onto the computer and like taking the slow route. I didn't see any damage from this thing. So I'm burning something else, but okay. I figured out my first gripe, okay? I, I guess not my first one, but when I was watching videos online, there are versions of this, I think, that had a laser, right? To help you kind of align things. But this one is kind of try, like hit and miss. You have a little option to test the laser or whatever, but it's kind of hit and miss, right? But now that I burnt this, or etch this and I know that I need to go up just a little bit. I'm thinking about taping it down and then getting a couple more cards and then aligning it. That way I can just set the each new card up against the other cards. I'll show you. Basically just like this. So I'm really liking how this coming out. And then hopefully I can just stick a new card in there. I think it looks pretty good. Should I flip it this way? Yeah. So I think at this point, I've decided I'm just gonna make this a two-parter video. Hear me out. Now that I have a laser that can actually cut things or etch into things that I wanted originally, like keychains and these stupid little cards, like just for the walls, like now I can play around with it. Now I can get, I don't know, acrylic maybe. See if I can cut some acrylic, uh, etch into acrylic, glass. I don't know, this thing says it could do a lot of stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna get online, maybe order a couple demonstration materials and see what this thing can actually do. So. The two part of this video, the second part of this video is going to be more of a review and what I can do with it and why I actually want to use it because I need ideas. So leave them in the comment section down below what you think I should try out on the 40 watt laser. Laser. I can't help but crack up every time I say laser. So guys, leave a suggestion in the comments down below. Of course, if you want to check this out, I will drop a link in the description as well. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe and have yourself a fantastic laser day. Okay, that was just stupid.